everybody. I am going to be doing uh, my nails with this month's sets from the sub box. So we've got all four sets out here actually because I want to do two layers on every finger like I have before. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still sick, obviously. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put this on top of everything, the overlay that's just like clear with sparkles or whatever over it. Okay, and I'm going to use these ones. I haven't 100% decided in what order yet. I want to use these bits, I think, from here, the cloudy bits, and then we're going to do these as accent fingers. I'm not sure which ones yet again, so let's uh, get these open and get them going here. So this one was called Click of Fate. That's the design strip that was in this box. So um, we're going to use the thumbs. And then do you want to do, yeah, let's do a middle finger maybe with this one. Um, and then I think we will use the pinkies that are this, um, ombre bit, but it'll be, um, it's only on the one end, so I'm going to use both of those. And then let's see, do we want to do... Maybe do I want to do that ombre that's in the middle? Uh, instead of this. I think I might. Alright, let's put these over here for now. And then let's do let's do this one on the pointer. Yeah, I think we'll do that one on the pointer, actually. I kind of want the pinkies to be the that swirly pattern. Should we do all swirly patterns and not do the ombre ones for now? Because I could see the ombre ones being used. Um differently. So let's save those. I'm going to save my ombres. We're going to just do, let's do this. Um, oh, they're both the same size, Heather. Duh. That was silly. All right. And we're going to put those over here. And then, yeah. Are these the same size too? Yes, they are. Okay. But they are different patterns slightly so hmm. okay we're gonna do this one here and we'll do this one piece, i think because they are the same size right i'm gonna double check this again are they the same size nope that one's slightly smaller so we'll use that one on the pinky okay and then we're going to do one of each of these. Well, I better turn on my heater here. My heater, my melter, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh. I put it down like almost right up against a cord. That would not have been good. All right. Then this blue one is called Hollow Glam. And it is... A beautiful sparkly blue. We're only going to use one strip out of this, which I kind of hate, but it is what it is. Let's do the blue one there. Okay. And then... Oh. 
Oops, it dropped one. Okay. And then this one we'll do on the ring finger. I'm going to use the full finger side of it. I'm not going to do a French tip. Um, this one was called Cyber Pink. Come on out, little guy. Let's go here. All right. Come on. Primity. Pain in the butt. All right. Let's see here. I think, I think this size should work. We'll put those on our ring fingers. All right. And then this is going in there. These ones are going to go... I might separate out the ombres from the cloudy print. Well, there's only two cloudy print left anyways, so it probably doesn't matter. But, alright, I'm going to let that heat up for a minute so I can seal these after. But let's go ahead and get started. This one's going to be a little big for the pinky, but it's okay. We'll just have to trim a little extra, that's all. Alright. Now someone wanted to know if this set was sheer or not. Um, it's definitely not. It's got like that whitish backing to it. Um, so it is not sheer. I would have I would have liked it if it was, I think. But I mean it's a little bit, but not enough that I think if you like I mean you would have to put something pretty dark underneath it, I think, to have it, like, show through. So. Um, it's not sheer enough, I don't think, to really show a lot through it, but again, if you put it over, like, I'm sure if you put it over, like, Midnight in Manhattan or something like that that's really dark, you might see it would change how this looks, but... <laughs> Um, <clears throat> a regular color would not, for sure, because it's too, um, opaque for that. Alright. So my nails look a little funny. It's because I put down, um, the nail protectors that I bought from Dashing Diva. I put on those to make a like nice thick protective layer on my nail because I'm not using the gel strips for this mani, obviously, and I wanted them to have enough on there to really protect them like I have with the the gel strips. So um, I have those little protectors down and then Hopefully with the double layer of the Color Street strips, it'll be um, enough. Hey, hey, turn that back on. Thank you. Kid's trying to play with his lightsaber, so he comes in and tries to turn the lights off in my room where I'm recording. <laughs> So I actually am liking this one more than I thought I would. If you remember when I did the unboxing for these, I was not super pleased with this set. I thought, meh, I don't like it. Aiden, no. Yeah, I was not a fan of this in the package, but... No, you take that in the other room where I'm taking it away. So, but I do, now that it's on, I do actually like it. Aiden, take it in the other room before I take it away. If I have to say it one more time, I'm going to get really angry. All right, there we go. Yeah, I actually like that. 
sorry, someone was not listening to mommy about stopping with the lightsaber. So I need to stop for a second. Let's get these put away here so they don't get dried out on me, especially since I'm only using one each out of these sets. This is a lot of leftovers. I do not want them to be dried out. I want to be able to use them. It's not heated up great yet, but it's enough to seal them for now and I'll once I'm done with my nails, I'll put the heat on them again one more time just to make sure they're fully sealed. But Mommy. what? I can't right now, no. You can put your plug through the tent window, you're fine. Okay, and then I don't know if I want to separate. No, I'm not gonna. What? No, I don't think so. I have it behind me. Oh. And I'm also trying to record. Yeah, it's still saying just a second. We'll give it a little bit more time. Not because it turned off. already for cripe's sake i hate trying to put these in sometimes they don't I feel like they're giving me a hard time on purpose stupid things yeah good enough Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see how this one looks now. I'm excited to see this one. This was one of the ones I really liked out of the box, if you remember. I'm going to turn this a little bit. There we go. Just kind of at an angle. All right. So we're going to use the full finger end of these. <coughs> oh, that is pretty. What do you think? Oh my goodness. I like that color a lot. It's sort of um like uh what is the coral one called? I'm trying to remember now. Um oh, not cordially invited. There's another um Cape Coral, I think it's called. Kinda reminds me of that as far as like sparkle level goes, and then it kind of has, you know, then it's got, but it's more pink. But it's like a corally kind of pink. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I think it's Cape Coral. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. The one that I'm thinking of that is similar. 
but this is way way pinker obviously it's a very pink color but I love the sparkle on it. Let me see. I know I have a bunch of cheesies of the one that I'm thinking of. Let me grab it because I want to compare it. Let's see. Yeah. See? So, just a more pink than coral, but like... They're very similar as far as the tone and then the, um, the amount of sparkle. Okay. I was also excited about this blue. It looks really pretty. And this one's a tiny bit sheer, but not so... I know, that doesn't even make any sense, does it? It's sort of sheer, but not sheer. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's pretty too. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, that's gorge. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is so pretty. I mean, if you're not a blue fan, you might not like it, but I am definitely a blue fan. Okay. Clean up this edge here a little bit. All right. Then let's see how this one looks on a little bit bigger finger. See so you now with the pinky, it looks it actually looks really good, but when you do. The smaller finger with the design, you can't always get all the the beauty of it because it's just such a small finger. But I think this is going to be super cute. I'm really surprised because I did not think that I was going to like this particular... <laughs> strip here. But I do. Okay. It's really pretty. You know what it kind of it looks like still though, I think um to me is a it looks like cotton candy. It has a very cotton candy esque look to it with the swirling pattern and you know it kind of looks like clouds and it kind of looks like cotton candy at the same time to me I've got to get more of the clear dashing diva gel sets i think some i'm finding my nails are growing better wearing the gel so i want to get i'm going to get some more clear ones so that it's easier to put the color straight over it um i've put it over ones that were colored and it's fine especially if the color you're putting it over kind of goes with the strip 
but um, I want the clear ones because I really want to get back to doing more color street nails. But I feel like I need the strength of the gel to keep my nails growing. The dog just came, like, barreling into the room. I think he's chasing something. I don't know what, though. How did I manage to get it? Some off the side of my nail, but not all of it off the cuticle. I don't even know. Okay, now we'll do the thumbs. <laughs> that wrinkle's annoying me right there. I gotta smooth it out. Okay. Now, I wonder, I think I might be able to get both thumbs out of the one strip. If I just, I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. I think we will do fine with one thumb strip only. This, I'm, I have to eat my words on this set. I really like it. I'm surprised that I like it, but I do. It's really pretty. So, if you initially thought, ugh, I don't like that set when you opened your box, you might want to give it a chance. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, this is super cute. Super cute. Yep, just need it. It's so cute, though. I know I keep saying that, don't I? Same thing over and over. It's so cute. It's so cute. It is cute, though. <coughs> We're all sick. Can you tell? <laughs> My entire house is coughing. Except for the animals. All right, now we're going to add our overlay and then it'll be done. They think this is super cute though. Um, oh, I got to open this back up now. Dang it. All right. A 
put it in a new baggie that I can seal again. But I'm going to put the name in there with it. Because I will definitely forget this name. And I'll just be going, oh, you know, that cloud set from the February box. <laughs> There we go. Alright. I like this a lot. Kind of wondering if I should even do the overlay. Or if this is... No, it's not thick enough for me. I want it a little bit thicker, so... Yeah, I'm going to do the overlay. Let's see here. So the overlay was called Static Bliss, and it's got um, very, very, like, minimal glitter in it. I feel like it's not super, super extra glittery. It's just a little bit, a little something. I'm going to use the smaller pinkies, because... I almost never use those ones, but for just an overlay, it's good. Because I can use this one end of it, and that's a good one for my nail. Look at, you don't even really see the glitter from it. Um, it's not, it's not really heavy at all can barely see it so if that's your jam then you'll probably like this overlay you know my jam is the more glitter the better but I'm okay with that I really just want it for the layer of the extra layer of you know protection more than anything so but it's definitely not super bold. It almost, I mean, I would confuse it with clear as day once it's off the backing. Except that it's got a teeny tiny bit of glitter through it. But other than that, you almost wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, let's see, maybe we'll see it more on the other stuff, the other fingers. Okay. But I need one of these. Put this one here. Let's see. Maybe this one, this one, and this one. We can put the rest away. In there, come on. All right. Yeah, like I really can't even see the glitter. Not even in person does it show up. So I'm sure on camera it's probably not looking a whole lot different. Let's see over the glittery ones what it looks like.
Again, you don't even see it. It's basically, might as well be clear as day that I'm putting on because it's not showing the glitter at all. The glitter in this is very sparse and light. So you probably won't see it over much. I mean, maybe if you used these pink ones as the French tip like they have them and then put this over it maybe you would see some of the glitter um, on the bare part of the nail but I don't think that you would see much because it really is not I mean when it's on there can you guys even see the glitter I don't think you can huh um, There, do you see it now? I don't know. He's chewing on that, Ben. I don't want him chewing on that. The dog's attacking my child because he's in the... They have this little swing. Um, it's a, a sensory swing. It's supposed to make them feel like they're being cuddled. And the dog likes to attack him when he's in it. And now he's just chasing his tail, like always, so that's fun. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to see this really, but it is a good, like, finish layer, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of disappointing that you really can't... I mean, I guess if you put it over a solid, maybe, you would see the glitter better. I don't know. I feel like no matter what you put it on, this glitter's not going to show up that well because it's just super light and sparse, and I feel like maybe you wouldn't see it at all. <laughs> Oh, the dog. Okay. I wish it was a little bit bolder so you could see it, but, you know, it is what it is, right? <laughs> okay welcome to my circus everybody's losing their mind especially me i don't know with the new mic if i'm i'm guessing you guys can still hear it even though you said this new mic definitely reduced the background noise i'm sure you can still hear theo because he is not very quiet when he's growling away at somebody. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to do the thumb and then it's done. Once I put on... Um, some top coat and file it. I think this is going to look super cute. I'm not super happy with it right now because it's a little messy at the edges, but once I get everything all um, cleaned up and polished up, it'll be amazeballs. Bless you. Bless you. Okay. I 
There we go. I can see it a tiny bit more over these than I did over the um, other ones, but yeah, still not really that much. I think I would definitely try it over a salad just to see um, if it looks better that way, but um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if even a salad is going to make it show up. But it's always possible, you know. So. I would love to see what you did with this month's kit. So make sure you share your your nail fees over on the VIP page so we can see your beautiful ideas that you had with it. All right, there we go. That is my Manny with the February sub box kit. I hope you liked it. And I will see you on the next one. Love you. Bye.